Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. This is your preview for Man United versus Reading. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has delivered a fresh team news update ahead of our FA Cup clash with Reading at Old Trafford this weekend, uh, having already beaten Everton 3-1 to reach this stage earlier this month. Uh, obviously, in this video, we'll go through the predicted starting 11 team news, who's on form coming into this match, and score prediction at the end so make sure you stick around and uh, let's just get to it before we get started though if you have been enjoying these previews smash that like on the video subscribe to the channel uh to join the community okay let's get started so team news um anthony martial uh diego dalot and luke shaw all missed out during our most recent games against Nottingham forest in midweek uh, with Harry Maguire obviously uh, available for selection once more following his one-match Carabao Cup ban. Uh, Eric Ten Hag actually was asked just now how his squad is shaping up and he insisted that he's confident with his options heading into tomorrow's night's uh, game. We always have issues, but I think tomorrow we have a strong selection for this game. Uh, and he also mentioned that we have a good squad we have depth in the squad and so we could cover things. Uh, Eric Ten Hag also once again asked about Jaden Sancho's availability uh, following his recent return to training with the boss insisting that the 22 years old will be monitored closely before a decision is being taken on the upcoming involvement. He is training with the team. We will see, Ten Hag added. He's also said he's improving, he's making steps We'll make, a we'll make a decision after the training. So basically he's saying it's possible that Sancho could be involved in the FA Cup match uh, versus Reading. Uh, he did confirm that he is on his way back. He's making steps. So he's back in the team training. And now we have to see when he's ready to go back into the game. I believe he's going to be involved um, in the game against Reading. So I have my predicted 11 um, up here. As you can see, this is the team that I think is going to start against Reading. Let's just quickly go through the lineup and see. Um, so this team has started uh, against Nottingham Forest. So I'm going to make a few changes here. Uh, David De Gea, I think we should be resting David De Gea this is the game. If this is not the game for Tom Heaton, I don't think he will ever play this season. So this could be the game that Tom Heaton could, could get involved in this match. So I'm going to let me just change this. So Tom Heaton and goal for me, Juan Basaka will keep his position because Dalot is is still injured so he's not going to be able to be playing this game so Juan Basaka will keep his position Lindelof will stay for me Martinez I'm going to rest and put Maguire back in I thought Maguire could play against Nottingham Forest but he decided to leave him to leave him out but now he has returned we have to rest Martinez and Varane so that's a long season it's a long season so Maguire comes back in for me I don't see any other option there. Malasia will keep his position because Shaw is still a doubt for this game. He's not going to be able to make it in this game. So Malasia will stay there. So this is the back four that we're going with against Reading. Uh, do let me know in the comment sections if you actually disagree with any of these players. Or if you think someone else needs to play, just leave a comment down below. And I'll try my best to answer all your questions. Uh, Midfield, okay, so in the middle of the park, we got Casemiro and Eriksen starting at, at uh, Nottingham. I don't think we need Casemiro for this game. This game should be the game that we rest Casemiro. So we need to take him off, and I would put Fred and McTominay. Where is McTominay? Scott. Okay, yes, I know. Fans don't want to see the McFred combination yet again, but trust me, I don't want to see it as well. But the fact is, if we can't play them in these games, I don't know when they're going to be playing. And I did pick 
I think, uh, Fred in the previous lineup. And I think these two should be starting this game. We need to give a rest for Casemiro. We cannot, we cannot continue to play Casemiro in every single game. We're just going to kill this guy. So he needs to be taking a break, especially in round five, round six, FA Cup clash. He needs to be resting. So Fred and Scott McTominay should be the midfield um which most fans probably don't don't like, and I don't like it as well. But obviously, they, these two need to leave, especially Scott McTominay and Fred. I think they need to leave uh, in the summer. Uh, up front, Anthony will stay there. He's still struggling for form. He's still sh struggling to impact the games, struggling to dribble past players. Uh, Gary Neville uh, was actually mentioning that he needs to take a look at uh Myers from Man City. He needs to take a look at him to see how he can improve his game. And I kind of agree with him. Like Anthony needs to improve his game. Currently he's just dribbling past nobody. He's doing a lot of tricks, but he's not going past players. So that needs to change. And that needs to change quickly. Uh but these are the, the kind of games that maybe you give Anthony a chance and he can score and lift his confidence up maybe it could change after a, a goal and two here and there but this is the game that he, he should start in my opinion bruno fernandez okay so this is the question mark i have bruno versus erickson who would you rather rest leave your comments down below but i chose i chose bruno to rest and i'm not dropping bruno for this game i'm just resting him so i think erickson can play that number 10 role uh, for for this match. It could be any of them. I don't really know. It could be Bruno or Eriksen, but one of those two sh has to play in this match. That's the only way we can create chances in this match. Uh, so I think Eriksen will start. Rashford, I think Rashford will be our striker in this game. Weghorst have started a lot of games now. Ever since he came on, he, he played against Crystal Palace, started against Crystal Palace, started against Arsenal. He started against Nottingham Forest. I don't expect him to start again. Fourth game in a row. Uh, so this game could be the game that he could take a break, maybe come on in the last 30 minutes of the, the, the match. Possibly, who knows? But Rashford has to continue his form. Yeah, you could you could you could argue that Rashford has been playing a lot of games as well, but guess what? He's the one scoring the goals, so we need him. We need him. Uh until Martial is back to full fitness and firing, we need we need Rashford to continue to score uh, for this game uh, for this team. Um and finally I'll add Garnacho in Rashford's position. Garnacho has to be given a chance from the start. Every single time I see Eric Ten Hag putting him uh, on the bench and he is impacting games uh, coming on from the bench but i would like to see him start this match so that's it guys this is the lineup that i think is going to start against reading before i give you my prediction let's just go through quickly the head-to-head -head, uh between these two teams and i'll give you my prediction so coming into this match uh manchester united have won Three games, drawn one and lost one against Arsenal. Uh, Reading, they've lost two games, drawn two and won one game. So they're not a good form. This could be a good game for us to just punish them and and go to the next round. Uh, we did cover the team news already here. Uh, let me just quickly show you. So top scores in the FA Cup, of course, Rashford. For United, only one goal. Uh, Long is the top scorer for Reading. Uh, head to head. I wanted to show you the head to head before I give you my prediction. Um, so this is the head to head. So we played one, two, three, four. The past five games, we won all five of them. As you can see, no draw. We beaten them four, three, two, one, one nil, four nil, two nil. They have never been a difficult opponent to play against. So I expect the same thing. I expect the same thing. I think Manchester United are going to win this game 3-0.
That is my prediction. And hopefully, Anthony and Garnacho and Rashford can get on the score sheet. And that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments down below who you think is going to start. Who do you think is going to score in this game? And also, give me your score prediction for this match. And that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.